Good morning, guys. We got sheep out. I could hear the dogs down at the shop barking. And then I heard a bunch of, oh yeah, they're freaking everywhere. And I could hear a ton of sheep. Yeah, we slept in this morning. It's a little after nine and uh, <laughs> the sheep decided to let themselves out somewhere, somehow. So I am going to just push them directly out back. My husband's on his way, but he, oh yeah, they're like, hmm, I wonder. Nope, 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 get up here. They're heading, okay, change of plans. They're all headed that way toward the gate. I think I am just gonna go ahead, grab the pickup and go open that gate. Oh, it is slick out here this morning. It's not even that cold. And uh, open that gate in hopes I can get them pushed in or out, out back. Okay. There, she finally figured out where the sheep were. Good girl, load up. Good girl. Load up. No, 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 no. Off. Come here. In the back. In the back. Load up. You nut. Paying attention? We paying attention? Nope, around this way. There you go. Push, push, push. Good dogs. Watching your sheep, I see. Lazy dog. Come on, head toward the gate. Nope, don't come back up here. There you go. Okay. No, June, heel. Okay. That's the big group. Come on, girls. Follow everybody else. And there's still two more groups at the barn that I need to get out here to but I will move them the other direction. Come on, girls. Come on. Okay. Come on, girls, let's go. Dudley, you stay here. Okay, I hope that is everybody. So yeah, they just kicked the bottom of the fence and came through there. So with that post not holding, this thing wiggle woggles pretty good. Yeah, it's there's nothing left. We just need a T post on it. Okay, all dogs need to move. So come on, I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. Out, out. out. Dudley. Jim, Dudley. Nimbus. Everybody out. It's a circus. Good morning, guys. That'll get your heart racing, there's no doubt. Had they not been coming right toward the house, I probably wouldn't have worried about it too much. Well, other than I didn't really want them in the hay either. But yep, yeah, all sheep are in. They kicked the gate, the bottom, out so they could squeeze through. Kind of sucks having smart sheep. Some days it's really good, some days not so much. Okay, let's go find breakfast. I didn't get to finish my coffee. Next step, 
feed the bottle baby because he is mad and put the rams in with the ewes. It is definitely warmer today than yesterday, but there is no sunshine. So it almost feels as cold. I need to get my jacket now that I have cooled down a little bit and I gotta get the bottle baby fed. So let's do that first. We weren't originally going to shear the boys, but once we realized how thick their coats were, we figured we would. So we're gonna try and at least keep an inch of wool on them since it is winter and it's cold. There are three blues that should be sitting there somewhere. There. See, look at how pretty I am now. Okay, we're good. So let me. You know what this is all about. I'm sure he'll stand for this because he knows. I'm guessing it was probably on. Be smaller than him. Well, could have been Viper or Elvis. Because if it had been on Ace, there we go. It'd have been probably just about the right size. I'm pretty sure he's Ace's son. Quick, they all get up to say hi. Yeah, he got up to get say hi too. <laughs> that boy, get her done. Bruno next. <sighs> I'm really, really uh, embarrassed how bad their feet are. I did not realize that they had gotten that bad when we put them in this pen. They looked fabulous when we brought them in from pasture. Ooh. So we're gonna shear him. We're leaving about inch and a half of wool on him because it is winter. And uh, just taking that off. 
Rams. Seriously. Oops. They're dumb. They're just dumb. Anyway, we're gonna we're leaving an inch and a half on them, and then we will go ahead and do his feet, and then he will go in with the girls outside. Okay, dude, hold on. We're about to do some butt stuff. <laughs> We gotta pose. We do? We have to pose. Like you're messing with the big boys. Got a couple conks on your head. I'll let you earn your keep. See, these are easier to adjust. They are. They just because they don't I, take any time. No, and I kind of figured it out. You just get it on them. Yep. And then you can kind of. That other one, you can't adjust it once it's on them. No. Oh, that was a stinky burp. My buddy, my buddy. Come on, buddy. Check them girls. Hope you know what to do. You can be done, literally. Look at him. <laughs> He's off. No, no, no. Those are not your girls. Yeah, he's been breathing a lot, but I think he's breathing the same four. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he's just making sure that he goes for it. Five, maybe. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, five. Bruno has two covered, and now he's bugging Sturgeon. And Buddy hasn't done anything yet, but he's young. He'll get it figured out shortly. Bruno, I think, or I mean, Sturgeon is probably down to just about a week. So yeah, we're gaining. And it is getting cold. And Bruno looks like crap because our shears broke and we don't have a second set. So until we order a would you tell me the cable broke? Yeah. So until we order a cable for these, uh, we are out of luck for getting the rest of him sheared. So hopefully it won't take long to get one here, um, but our luck, it'll take a month. But as soon as it gets here, we will finish shearing him. Slow boat from China would be my guess. Slow boat from China is his guess, yeah. Oh, there's the other piece. So it must just, snap in somewhere yep. so okay. there's there's the end of that end so it did just snap right but about we, where that curve was yeah i guess it was oh huh? yeah so it is just the cable okay and they've ground the cable square so that it fits, fits into, up the, into the socket okay 
So hopefully. But this all does come apart. So we should just have to buy the cable. Now it's a matter of um, Find finding it. <coughs> That's usually the hard part. Yep, yep. we'll see. Sometimes maybe <coughs> like if you can't find it one that is made for it specifically, then we call like the dudes that make uh, speedometer cables for trucks, some of that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. And see if they can build one. Okay. That is not everybody. I was hoping it was, but no such luck. So. We'll go ahead and leave the gate open in hopes that the rest of the girls show up. Uh, basically, it looks like a couple of my older and all my lambs. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, let's check progress before we lose light. There's a blue butt and there's a blue butt. Those are your only two. Bruno. Is that all you got so far? Hi, Bambi. Hi, sweet girl. Okay. There's the rest of them coming in. Oh, yeah. There's all of them. Okay, well, hopefully there is still some feed for them. So it looks like we got three right here, one over there he's working on, one right here, and that might be it. Not bad for a first day. Hi sister. So this is Bruno's mom, sitting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, better than I thought. And it doesn't look like Buddy has done anything yet, but with these first time rams, it always seems to take them a day or two or five before they start getting with it. And this is his first time breeding but these are all experienced ewes. They all lambed last June, so there should be no issues on getting them bred. It's just a matter of getting them to stand. <laughs> Buddy, they're not quite ready yet. They'll get there. They'll get there. Can you hear him? You might not be able to hear him with all the dogs barking. But the coyotes are across the road in the creek. And our dogs have gone absolutely bonkers.